Hello everyone, welcome to my 10th episode of Jigos Live. This is my very good friend Gunther. It's my utmost honor and very happy, very happy. I've been waiting for this to have him in my studio again. And uh, he responded to your request that you nominated him to be my guest. And here he is now for my 10th episode, as I said. Uh, this session will be one hour, of course, if we can make it in one hour maybe we can we can stay for longer <laughs> <laughs> it's a special case with the goons <laughs> and um, I'm, I'm really very thankful that um, Gunther he has really little um, interviews online so he's here now with me and it's an opportunity for me to welcome him again in my studio how are you goons I'm very good I'm very good thank I'm you for good. coming thank you Perf. thank you <laughs> Uh, um, first of all, I would like to excuse myself if I do some errors in English, because um, I did some progress lately, but I was not at all good in English. You're just great, believe me. Good, good. <laughs> um, yes, this is actually my second interview. Uh, first one was with Naomi Sergeant. Um, I want to thank her for that. Uh, she pulled me out of my room for seven hours uh, inside the offices of Time Out, and this is actually my third, but uh, two of them are with you. Yes, we and there is something we did not yeah. really uh, tell you about before, uh, that we're launching a um, very huge documentary about the scene, and I will keep this as a secret. Yeah. I had Gunther with me before, yeah, yeah. he did a very, re uh, really I amazing always, I always respond to you, because uh, honestly, uh, everyone know me, maybe I'm a bit aggressive, but I'm very honest. <laughs> Uh, you were here for all of us. Uh, when I met you, you were uh, properly a kid, uh, like uh, a lot of people in the scene. And uh, the progress you've been made, uh, Mo, is just unbelievable, bro. Thank you, Guns. Uh, you supported uh, us. I don't think that there's one artist in Lebanon that will uh, that have a full studio uh, if you didn't help. Honestly. Thank you so much. So Thank you so much. You, so guys, uh, as you know, as this is the 10th episode, I don't know if uh, most of you or some of you are regular um, Gigos live watchers for this show, support supporters as well. This show uh, is divided into two sections. The first section is a three quarter of the show where we are, I'm going to answer uh, goons some questions I received prior to this show on my Instagram and Facebook. And of course, the last 15 minutes will be a an up close and personal interview and uh, goons will answer any question that you will be uh, submitting you can also watch this uh, full hd episode in two days from now on my facebook page pervert of course there's a playlist for jigos live also on my youtube playlist you can watch all the 10 episodes i had previously with me uh, stamina who is also half of Gunther and Stamina, which we're going to talk about tonight as well. I had with me Nesta, I had with me Jason Gakush, Mozaza, and of course the list goes on. So, first of all, uh, let me introduce my guest uh, for people who don't know Gunther, for people who don't live in Lebanon maybe, or in the Middle East, because Gunther is really famous here. No one doesn't know Gunther, the name, and the person as well. And uh, for all the people who are abroad uh, watching this episode, let me tell you something. This guy has been doing music for the past maybe 40 years. So if I will account the years that he was still a baby uh, piano, in his mind. Piano, piano, piano lesson. Yeah, he was, he was really eating, pissing, uh, drinking so, music. Uh, Gunz is an artist, of course. He's uh, very famous in Lebanon for his uh, project Gunther and Stamina. And of course, we are going to talk about after that, before that. And uh, the only uh, thing that, I, that is really in, in my mind now is the, um, when he left to Switzerland and studied music, Gunther was one of the DJs who did not use mixed in key. And his mixes were too harmonic and that was a really a question mark or an exclamation mark to all the crowd including myself how does he prepare for such a harmonic set without 
the technology that we have now. Of course, those questions came up later on when we were introduced to the technology, and I was really just remembering the old days, and it was like, how Gunther did this? <laughs> so <laughs> okay. Gunther, is, 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 uh, he left uh, in 2001 to Switzerland. He studied music, and he came back in 2005, and we are going to talk about all the journey. So tell me, how was your, uh, wh why did you I decide to go to, to Switzerland before? Uh, to Switzerland? Uh, I was not doing anything in Lebanon, like uh, like a lot of uh, people now in the crowd uh, have some problems with universities. I don't like the way they uh, they give the the education, and uh, I ended up doing after hours and partying all the time. Time was passing, so um, I decided to um, to be aggressive with myself, if you want, to be strict, and uh, I, 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 ant I I finished by doing the military service in Lebanon, so it's a very tough discipline. And uh, then I did Swiss hotel management, so I learned two very tough disciplines. So I know how to live while avoiding the discipline. <laughs> 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 so and, um, I did this because um, I didn't know really where to place myself also in the industry, because um, I, I was out since the age of 15. Uh, I remember I used to go to Nameless, to a music club, 15, 16 years old, even B.O. 18 in the field. It was next to my uh, my home. So uh, I had a friend who, uh, who, was, uh, who was, let's say, working with B.O. And uh, he helped me go uh, inside when I was 16, 17. That young? Uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> very young, very young. It was in the parking mainly, but we used to go have a drink inside and the party was outside. Uh, when I went to Switzerland, it was uh, part of a um, deal with my dad. Uh, you know, I'm a pianist based, uh, and I stopped piano at the age of 15. I was into heavy metal because uh, my dad is a guitarist, so uh, I was more into rock than any, any other uh, genre. But uh, as a pianist, I listened to every, uh, any kind. And um, I didn't know how to begin. I began with, uh, by going to Switzerland. I signed up in the school. And then it was a deal between my dad. I finished the study. He paid me the electronic music production school in Paris later on. Uh, so I, and I did also hospitality administration in Washington State. So uh, I had so many uh, things in order to, to be good in this industry. Because, you know, Mo, it's a very tough industry. And uh, during this era, the, my era, you didn't have Facebook, we didn't have Beatport, we didn't have iTunes, we didn't have all this. <laughs> so it was very tough. It was going uh, walking in Switzerland and Europe to find uh, records. And uh, you play the record and uh, it costs 14 pounds, if I remember well. Uh, during that day, you can play 30 times and then the, the acoustic is not, is not, the quality will not be good. So it's not like now you multiply your folders and you back up. Uh, how did I, uh, you were talking about harmony. harmony. Yes, I, I was asking okay. you, how did you, okay. Uh, okay. what was your experience? It's, it's, um, it's uh, really uh, pure uh, myself discovery. Well, I'll tell you all the story. Um, when, you, when you went to Switzerland? I went to Switzerland, but be how was your experience? Before, before going to Switzerland, even in 98, 99, I was famous doing after hours in Beirut. Uh, from seven, 97 to 99, 2000, private after hours, where people were telling me, you have to be an artist, you have to be a DJ, you have a great collection. Uh, even Naji uh, Bio was in some of my after hours. Uh, this is before I leave. And uh, me, when I was listening to this CD, you remember the Global Underground series? Of course. You remember the New Breed series? And when you hear this CD, and there's something else, you know, it's not only beat much, there's a continuation, there's a journey. And I was asking myself, what is the difference between this and the other, for example, let's say Pasha CD or, you know, okay, it's beat much, it's a nice song, but there's no this uh, hook, this uh, line where you, the trip, you know. And I found, I did some research on the internet, uh, the internet was not that, uh, uh, they didn't Bas have that, yep. yeah, th not this basket of information. I found out about uh, DJ Prince uh, from Sweden. DJ Prince used to play commercial music, which I, uh, I it's not that I don't like, uh, um, uh, let's say I don't work mainstream music, but I can listen and I can enjoy. Uh, I, I, I found out that the, the keys, and as soon as I saw the keys, uh, as, so, uh, as, so, uh, as I uh, saw the keys, I immediately remember the circle of fifth from the piano lesson. And um, which is now very famous in mixing key. <laughs> Mix in, mixing key, they, they put it, they put yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. So that's uh, the origin. I, I used to take a keyboard 
and listening to the song, and you know, you have only 12 steps, you know, mainly eight notes, so from do to do, it's eight. So, and uh, you search for the root, and the root is the, the, the note where, wherever you sound like bang, 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 or bang, bang, <laughs> it will go good with the track. So we, we knew that this is the, the key. And uh, then uh, you had uh, one uh, software that a very good friend of mine that uh, he's my studio teacher, basically my first uh, studio teacher is the DJ K. That I would like to thanks for all the help we've been uh, doing. Salute to you, Ka. Yeah, Ka is very old. Ka used to play in Lebanon in '99, uh, where I was still in the room playing in my room. He's a very old DJ. Uh, he gave me a software uh, that works only on Windows. The name is Tonart, but still you have to put the track uh, Wave and one track by track and to wait like you know with a processor <laughs> uh, my time was a processor 256 something like this you have to wait the track like um, 15 minutes then you have the key and it's not one a to a three a it's c major or f d s major or anyway so and uh, i remember when mixing key came um, i already i already uh, gave the, my harmonic mix uh, uh, secrets let's say to Stam, to Ka, to a lot of DJs, uh, five years, four years, three years before Mixing Key. I remember Stam panicking when <laughs> Mixing Key came out at Beatport. <laughs> Stam called me like, Mixing Key is on Beatport. <laughs> it was fun that day, but uh, I mean, uh, nothing is secret. We were never secret. Um, uh, if you ask, they will tell you, but you need to ask and you need to work on yourself. And uh, that's So it. that was uh, something you discovered because you yeah. had this this in you in your system before the technology came out and gave you all the harmonies and keys and stuff like that and from then i remember back like more than 10 15 years now we're old by the way <laughs> when i came to <laughs> Lennon, some, some people some people was making uh, fun of me when when i began to to talk about harmonic mix on the Ibanese labels forum i salute them by the way they helped me a lot uh, building the underground scene in lebanon uh, some people were writing, yeah, this the, uh, guy coming from Switzerland wanted to lecture us and big DJs in the industry. I didn't say anything. And uh, four years later, uh, now you see everyone is on Mixing Key. Of course, yeah. But, but I'm happy. I'm happy there's Mixing Key because uh, at least uh, Mixing Key, I mean, uh, even, even, even if, if you're using Mixing Key, if you don't know what are you doing, it will not be really helpful too, like any other uh, technology. You know, so it's good to have new technologies. With of us. course, yeah, of course, yeah, especially yeah. that you, you, you I, when I you mix in, 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 the, in the old times, I'm one of the uh, people who witnessed there was like a very harmonic flow and you were going from... I, I can do it uh, much easier now because uh, of mixing keys, so of I'm very course, happy instead well. of waiting uh, uh, 15 <laughs> minutes for every track or searching the route. I remember sometimes, you know, my, my, my mom, for example, going to the room, me with the keyboard for England, you know, she, she was thinking I'm crazy, you know. Ta, 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 ta. <laughs> yeah, but do you know that mi Mixing Key, by the way, they're the official sponsors for Pervert uh, School as well, officially uh -huh. uh, sponsoring the school, and they offer it at 50% to our students. I bought it from you, oh. the original one. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yes, you guys, um, again, after Goons came back from uh, Switzerland with all the knowledge that he studied there and of course with all everything that from he was Paris uh, at the end I was in Paris doing the electronic music production but you went to Switzerland Switzerland first first of yeah, course, of course. Uh, I was a DJ in Switzerland I used to work and in Switzerland I was uh, playing here and there still but not really pro pro but then I move on to Paris uh, Ka in the beginning uh, didn't want to have uh, to talk with me at all because <laughs> uh, yeah I was this uh, room DJ when he discovered about harmonic mix um, he was home with me every day <laughs> <laughs> he ended up giving me courses in production and he helped me a lot because SAE you know for for a Swiss hotel school guy uh, going there uh, fi uh, sitting with Europeans Europeans they already know about VSTE VST etc I was like me what 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 <laughs> so Ka was really very helpful for me the first two three months and uh, and then Big L so uh, these are the two people that uh, really helped me in my career uh, technically wise let's say uh, Big Al is, uh, is, is the only person I would call big brother in, in the whole industry in the world uh, uh, no one helped me as much and as you're Big also Al. signed on his label ready mix uh, Records. I'm, 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 I'm a fan of uh, Biggie and his music and ready mix first and uh, Biggie is much much older than me in experience and age and everything 
Uh, and uh, except that I'm a fan of Zadimix, Zadimix did a lot for Gunter, for Gunter and Stamina, for Elias, for for uh, the rest of the scene, and Biggie is still doing for the whole scene. Uh, actually, uh, since we're talking about Biggie, uh, I uh, I'm releasing my third mix compilation, but this time no Gunter and Stamina. You had the the volume one of BO18 the mix, B BO18 volume one, and you had and the then second one? original or, or already mixed uh, number twelve. It's two and now CDs. you have a new one. I have a new one, but uh, as Gunter alone. Uh, Gunter alone, two CDs. It's house. It's uh, ready mix uh, music. It's a compilation. Uh, it's a mixed compilation. Uh, I'm I'm recording uh, tonight or tomorrow the first CD, the last, uh, the final draft, and the CD two maximum by Monday. I have to submit to Biggie. Uh, they are really great uh, guys. Uh, I mean, for me, I did the, the best I, the best uh, possible playing with those harmonics uh, on ready mix and only three other labels. So I was limited to these four labels. I did uh, the CD one is uh, instrumental, musical, is full of piano and piano piano, you're not like uh, one chord or two chords, melodies, uh, you have violin, you have saxophones, uh, CD two is more Gunther in the club, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, I, I'm happy that you mentioned this because every time I um, get to hear people talk about the name Gunther, they link your name to those aggressive, progressive <laughs> Uh, flows and they yeah. say Gunther kills me when I'm I'm there. I just need Gunther I can to be kill me I again. Can, <laughs> I can be the slow, the, the slowest and the really slowest DJ in Lebanon, as I can go a very aggressive. And uh, but if they really listen to my CDs, for example, from Bo18 to the other one, and uh, during the, my extended set, I, I begin very slow, always musical. I don't play only techno like people uh, tend to uh, um, tend to uh, tag me with. I, I play uh, deep house, uh, minimal, uh, techno, and even sometimes I can launch some prog track. You heard me playing them in Bo. Um, for me, is music. It's not about having one genre or having uh, only beat match. I'm very good in beat match. I know I do some three uh, three minutes mixes, <laughs> but it's not the beat match that is uh, really. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, you can bring a kid; he can do it on sync, sync or exactly. do it on a laptop. <laughs> and uh, beat match also is, is not. Um, I mean, if you learn how to do it properly, it will make you grow an ear. Because you will have to listen really to the music and to put them together. So it's not that, uh, no, I do not recommend that, I recommend it. But uh, music is music. Music is not beat. Music is chords, is melody. So for me, I can, for example, uh, and would like to say it, I enjoy Ace Jamal. Ace Jamal, the white DJ. Of course. I love him. I love him. I would like to tell him another time. He plays time. Uh, hip hop, R&B. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. That. But uh, I found myself dancing on his music. I found myself dancing on his music. Uh, imagine, he's such a s smart guy, nice guy, respectable. He, he, know, he knows what he's doing, man. So um, any person can, I can have a hook for any kind of music. Uh, in my car, basically, I never listen to four on four beats. Yeah, you sent me a video today. <laughs> yeah, I, was, yeah I, I, I listen to rock, rock, and roll, rock and roll. He sent me a video. He was like, I'm, I, I just need 30 minutes to reach you. And uh, in the video, <laughs> there was rock music. So, uh, <laughs> I'm a rock based music, yeah. Do you yeah. really prefer to... Because Iron Maiden. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I saw that in your biography as well. Yeah. Uh, influences, Iron Maiden. Yeah. That only Iron Maiden. So, <laughs> let me ask you something. Uh, do you really prefer to play the aggressive style of music mm. or do you just um, have every night in a special... Uh, mm. Direction, Very depending, nice question. De Thank depending you. on the um, theme and the crowd. Mo, and mo, uh, you are an expert today. I'm very happy to know you today because uh, I can ask you questions as well. And uh, we know about frequency, music, all music, everything related to music can be summarized in frequencies. Of course. So for me, it depends on the size of the room first. It depends on the target, who, who is in this room, how old they are. Uh, what experience they have, and also the the identity of the room. If there's too much light, and this is why not uh, you cannot play the same music all and all on all the places. It's it's impossible. So how do you study your environment? Do you? I do improvise. It? I I my USB is very well organized, and uh, if you put my You're USB, a I have it with me. <laughs> I'm a Capricorn, like you. <laughs> my, my USB is uh, is very organized uh, in a way that I can I can do whatever I want. Whenever I want, like uh, I can change it from key 
I can change from genre. I have every genre alone. I have for the beginning of the night, the middle of the night, the ending night, you know. So I'm very well prepared. I have a huge library. And uh, I prefer to improvise. I dance with people. I choose two, three guys. I see them, uh, you know, they want to go in it. And uh, they become my muse for the night. And uh, you develop a vibe, it's energy and vibe, and you develop it through those three, four So people. you leave a lot of uh, space for improvisation rather than preparing... Yeah, everything is improvised. If I put my USB, you will see uh, the first uh, message you have on a pioneer, no, re no record box found. <laughs> till, till today, I don't know record box, guys. I never open it. I need Ahmad <laughs> to explain a bit on it. Because I'm not this um, uh, guy that want to use a lot of machines. And, you know, when we began, bro... It You're old school. It, You're old it school. was just two turntables with two faders without yeah. any light, without yeah, any yeah, yeah, view meter, anything. <laughs> uh, it was only your ear and your crowd and yourself. Of course. So a good DJ, in my opinion, is a DJ that have a big library, a very nice library, but he's able to adapt it on any given crowd. It's not like he come, I want to play my sound, I want to play this sound, I want to play this genre. Also, a message for the youngsters uh, to be, I mean, if uh, music is a circle, a 360 degree. If you listen to one genre, let's say you listen to Deep House and you don't listen to anything else, you're missing 359 degrees. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Plus, what you call Deep House may be techno for, the, for other people. It depends on the area, it depends on the culture of the guy. And in Beatport, it's all wrong. We all know that. You go to the section techno, there's no techno. There's Even your track, they might call it techno in Beatport, when it's not tech techno. house and yeah, iTunes, yeah, uh, yeah, etc. Yeah, yeah, et yeah, by yeah. the way, we have to just... You have to play music, man. Play yes, music. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, by the way, we have to uh, just say hello back to all the people who are joining. We have Sandra Melham sending you a lot of hearts. I love Sandra. Uh, I love Garen Sandra. Uh, Kourjakian, Levon. Uh, we have uh, Christopher. We have so many people joining. I forgot your... Uh, I f because I cannot scroll for more than four names, unfortunately. But no for problem. everyone who is online with us now, we say we salute you, we love you, and that session is for you, uh, of course. So you can ask any questions in the last 15 minutes of the session. Ask me Mean anything. Meanwhile, you can also show us some love and share this video so that more people can join in and ask boogie, boogie many questions. Boogie, <laughs> boogie. Uh, Maisa, uh, Boogie, with all the people Maisa, joining. Madame, 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 uh, yeah, Maisa. Madame Wandour. Uh, Madame Karaki. We Madame Karaki, yes, yes. <laughs> kill you. Uh, okay. we, we <laughs> <laughs> we were in the same. Um, we, we were on the same table when we were on the. Yeah, on, on the <laughs> wedding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It Maybe it that was the first was time. The, I, it I was the second I wedding. <laughs> it was the second wedding I go in my life. Yeah, yeah. I went to two weddings only. So uh, let me uh, go through some of the questions that I received on my Instagram and on my on my right. Facebook because you know, guys, I'm always doing this when I have a guest. I cannot scroll through all the messages that can be sent uh, live. So I ask people to send us the questions prior to the show and I already have like five six questions from um, people uh, from Instagram from Facebook and from um, uh, this uh, snapchat thing that I do not use a lot by the way I don't have a so <laughs> <laughs> the first question is from Ryan Akiki do he is asking do you plugs? use uh, earplugs, earplugs to protect your ears it's a very interesting question um, I have the earplugs I don't use them <laughs> Uh, what's an earplug? Or uh, let's talk about the ear quickly. Your ear uh, membrane, membrane, French membrane. We can yes, say yes, it. membrane. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's the toughest membrane you have in your body. Uh, it's very thin. It's you take a, a napkin, you split it in half. You have your ear, but it's really very, very hard to have a problem with ear. I have a tinnitus. And any <laughs> musician that is over 40, you, you will find him with me doing tests in ear, in ear eye and ear, or any hospital. But uh, don't worry if you know how to, how to maintain your ear. How can you maintain your ear? Eat a lot of bananas <laughs> with uh, magnesium, honestly. A lot of bananas. And uh, never let uh, angle be 90 degree on your ear. So even always when I place the monitor wherever I go. And uh, man, never go more than 75% of the volume on the headphone. Uh, when you're playing extended set, you might have a problem that you're not listening very good. Your, your, your ears are blocked. Uh, normal DJs tend to put more volume. I do the opposite. You put less volume, you give yourself five minutes, and then your brain will accommodate itself automatically. I put the earplugs when I finish the night, or when I finish my studio session, because I want to relax my ears like you relax your muscles. But during my performance, no way that I use any earplug. 
I want to feel the vibe, I want to dance with the people. So uh, for me, earplugs come later on, for I sleep better, or when I'm driving in Beirut, I don't listen to... Noise. Uh, I, I filter all the noise, I listen only to the music from my car. Even if you're clubbing sometimes, or you don't uh, play, No, do no, when I, when I go club, I, you never see me with earplugs. You, no. you do clubbing, or yeah. you just go for work? Uh, I mean, there's a joke about me when they <laughs> see me, how much did <laughs> you get? But so, no, I never go out, <laughs> people uh, don't understand. Because um, I, I live in the night since my 15, I'm 41 today. It's been 26 years, it's too much for me. So my club is uh, my wife, a documentary, my cat here, and a big stack bottle of wine. <laughs> Walid Hashar is telling you, please advise him to use record box. Old school DJs no. are improv improving 400% with record box like he improved when he used mixed in key and same Maybe, time. maybe Walid, I respect Walid a lot. He's an he's a old school guy. Uh, Walid, maybe, but I prefer to do my own organization. Uh, it, it, uh, record box tend to give you uh, how he feels about the set. This is how my jam told me. Uh, I salute Ahmad, Habibi Ahmad, uh, one of my favorite. But um, I mean, I recommend people to use any technology they feel using it. But uh, not uh, a lot of machine or a lot of software won't make the difference. I, I'm, I'm, I'm not into a record box at <laughs> all. I'm, I'm into mixing key, yes. But not George record. Elias Yamin, uh, he's... George me, Yamin. Yeah, George Elias Yamin. He's, he's an, an artist on my he, label he's as well. He's in Denmark he's, today. Yeah, he's telling me kiss Gunther from his head. Huh? <laughs> and uh, I remember say, George, he, was, he was a baby, but <laughs> very promising baby. Very promising kid. And now he's really supported by uh, Nan yeah. and Yonique Warren and all the guys. George. I salute you, George. Thank you for, uh, for signing on my label as well, sending me all the demos. I love them. And we had the previous questions, but I'm um, really sorry, guys. I cannot scroll through all the messages. Can we do if, it from my table? If you, yeah, if you really want to send messages, just send them as a private message to me or to Goons. Where you see And that? we can, uh, of course, log into our inbox instead of going live because we can only see four people. And we have so many people joining, so oh. many people commenting. Oh. Oh. Thank you okay. all for that. So the second question is from Sarah Dawi. Why is She's asking no why is there event? no more huge events in Lebanon like before? before. That's a good question. A I ask you this, by the way, in the, in the in interview. The documentary, <laughs> yeah, in the documentary, <laughs> yes. Okay, let's talk about it, Sarah. Uh, I'm totally with you. There's no more huge event in Lebanon. Because, uh, you know, when the cake is big, <laughs> people <laughs> tend to dispute themselves. So we, would, we don't want to go into names and details. But um, uh, for you to know that there was never Gunther or even Gunther and Stamina without a uh, bunch of people. It was a lot of people. I would like to talk about names positively, uh, like Karin Twain, a girl in my heart forever. Uh, you had uh, Adam Baini, you had uh, Stam, of course, Bigel, Ka around me, uh, many, many other people. I, uh, you know, Naji Gibran, Michel, and everyone. And uh, when you have, when when the market uh, became a bit bigger. Uh, there were so many problems, and it's split. It's it splits now, but it's not uh, this uh, big problem. I mean, in any market, it's the same. I saw this evolution in Europe, in Ibiza, everywhere. Uh, people see they want this. They want to do the same. Uh, hello, problems. Hello, uh, you know. Plus, Lebanon is a very small country, so it's very hard to make a huge event. If you have all this cake uh, divided, yeah. you don't have the mass crowd of uh, New York. You know, you have 100 million there or 5 million, 60 million. <laughs> I don't know the numbers. <laughs> in Lebanon, you have clubbers maybe 20,000 or 30,000, you know. So they played. But yes, uh, she's right. Uh, I used to do play. You, did, do you uh, miss those big events? Of course. Uh, I miss them. I miss them. But uh, honestly, I prefer smaller room. Smaller room. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 yeah, I prefer smaller room. Um, to big event, but I mean, uh, it's good from time to time. I Each hope one has it. I hope Karin would uh, would like to re re remake history again. I would be uh, honored to be with her. And uh, but I don't think there's someone else than Karin now um, able to produce this uh, such big event, such big event flawlessly. Flawlessly, we had a lot of competition, but in my opinion, there's no one else than Karin Twain that can make this uh, flawless huge event. So I hope I hope she'll do it. Ba again. Back to uh, back to this goons because this is something that is in my head now as a question and um, 
Do you think that uh, today's scene nowadays is as big as the scene that was before? Because I, I noticed before, when we were like maybe 10 years ago mm. or five, seven, eight years ago, we used to wait for the second event, like you said, flawlessly. Mm. So mm. there was one or two maybe uh, big promoters uh, putting all the energy in one event and all the people were gathered in one venue. Mm. And you said, I prefer smaller clubs. And by the way, you guys, uh, Goons now is doing um, his own business and uh, we will uh, talk about the timeline of Goons of course the, throughout the interview but now Goons is I'm the consultant the, the, the consultant in of project Sandra, of Sandra and Rabia Khabba Sandra Milhim and Rabia Sandra Khabba Sandra and, and she's with us I think yeah, uh, yeah. Sandra, he's she's doing, my sister yes he's doing um, the maybe Sandra I'm sorry to cut you Sandra is the girl that pulled me out of my room again because uh, when I stopped with BO18 for the people, club is project before uh, the, the project, club is project, 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 yes, project, yes, project yes, yes. with many international DJs. They had Nick Warren before. They are now they had, you have um, you have you had Atalia 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 this weekend. Yes, and that's what you do nowadays. So yeah. what's what's your your opinion about the difference like between the old All big right. room? Uh, one big event and now you remember I, I was in the big big room and I was also in BO18 before BO18 I was a bit of time was tag event I would like to thank uh, Amani the group from tag event and uh, uh, it's also a club and uh, also I used to manage and I installed the sound of Capitol of uh, Bar Nacional for people to know not only BO18 I was directing all these place, places uh, ambience wise music wise um, it's not about I prefer or not. I, I prefer, um, I cannot tell you I prefer, but uh, if it's every weekend, I prefer to be in a small club like Project or BO18. Uh, once every month, I would like, I would love to have something big. If it's um, uh, good and efficient and uh, really well produced with a real identity. Uh, during that time of big event, I was also uh, managing Carlos Vincente Bacardi. And Carlo was uh, very essential in the Bacardi and Mix FM uh, revolution as well. Carlo and Karim. And uh, then uh, I, I stayed with Karim and Mix. I, I stopped with Bacardi. And then I went to BO18. Uh, you tell me if it's better like this today. I think it's better uh, from two perspectives. First perspective, people have more choices. And also DJs have the chance to be shiny. During my era, it was, uh, you know, very very BO18 only. No one could do, any <laughs> any other club could do. That's the after hour of Henry. <laughs> and there's uh, Jade doing uh, very well so during the basement time. Jade is even older than myself in the market. People tend to think I am older. It's the totally opposite. He was very well established. He was a club owner when I landed in Beirut. And uh, he's one of the pioneers. Uh, yeah, Jade. we salute Jade for Amiri the millionth Jade. time. Uh, Mad Jam on, on existed. The show. Uh, Mad Jam Fanny as well. Fanny was used to play the progressive at BO. Before I came, uh, you had uh, Amadeus. Uh, I don't know where he is today, but he was there, Jojo, which I would like to thank Jojo, uh, Jojo, you and uh, Sebek, Yusuf, and uh, uh, Rekt um, uh, Woody Naufal. You are four people that uh, people may not know, but you supported me so much uh, in uh, machines and equipment. If today I'm, I'm capable of uh, realizing my album uh, home or my track, it's because of uh, four people. You, Jojo, and... Uh, thank you, Guns. And, uh, and, <laughs> and no, thank you, guys. Honestly, thank you, because you didn't have anything to, to win from me. You just, it's, uh, uh, you it's, just it's, it's as, as if uh, it's the same thing. You gave all your energy and you gave all Habib, those endless sets you. from your heart thank without you. asking for anything to us, the crowd. I was a crowd as well. Thank and you. then, uh, of course, the least thing anyone can do is to give you love back with no Habib. returns. That's this unconditional love that we all have. Unfortunately, not all the Some DJs. <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, we have a question from um, from Mark Nasser. Uh, why are you always aggressive on your Facebook <laughs> statuses? <laughs> Bro, I, I, I'm, I'm never aggressive on my Facebook status. Maybe I have some two or three political status about Erdogan. I hate him. Maybe they mean the uh, aggressive. Uh, uh, I don't know what's... I'm aggressive with, with, with DJs, maybe. Uh, I'm not aggressive with anyone, if you really know me. I don't know why you ask this question. I mean, it's uh, a bit... Uh, uh, it's a bit uh, uh, making me aggressive. <laughs> no, come on. I mean, I was never. Uh, give me an example, like uh, any status you saw. I can tell you why. Uh, usually, I can be aggressive if someone lies to me or if uh, someone uh, wants to steal from me. 
uh, you will never see me aggressive. I'm, uh, if you really know me uh, or approach me, you will know it by yourself. A lot of people know me in Lebanon and uh, in the Middle East, and they know that I'm a very approachable artist. Anyone can speak to me. I give him my time. I help a lot of people. I can be aggressive. I don't know. Maybe I wake up. Uh, but I don't remember, I mean, which <laughs> status. Because um, from the last year till now, I can remember two political statuses, aggressive. Uh, it was political. Uh, yeah, Erdogan is No, they mean maybe aggressive towards other DJs in I, I never talk about any DJ in my statutes. So, uh, Mark, you got the answer. Maybe we other know. DJs write about <laughs> me, but I don't even... Uh, maybe, you, maybe you just uh, reflect back if you are just, um, you know, someone... I talks. can be aggressive, but I, w I don't remember where on Facebook. I don't know. Maybe I was defending myself. Yeah, so yeah. You'll never see me uh, beginning an act of aggression. I'm a very peaceful person. <laughs> Okay, let's move to the other question. <laughs> do you play all <laughs> tracks? <laughs> uh, do you play all tracks in your mixes or you Guess just uh, <laughs> new ones? That's from Jihad Koronful. Do you play all tracks or you just play new ones like promos and stuff? Mm, I will give you my opinion about music in general. Before the year 70, dear Jihad, uh, Find me any song that is is not good. Any song can be good, honestly, because it was a proper musician, proper DJ, proper producer, um, uh, uh, pushed by passion and uh, doing music for music. And later on, you have the marketing. So uh, uh, the more you go old with music, the better it is, honestly. And uh, till now, I in my in my USB where I play live. You could find some tracks from now, now, and even not on Beatport. I have some promos. You will see them on Beatport in six uh, months or one year, maybe. But um, I have tracks from 2005 and 2000 and uh, Do you play them? Sometimes you I just play them. I play them. I play them. And you have uh, a lot of people responding, and they know some of people. They know Lebanon. We have really connoisseur today. The crowd is not like uh, you know. They remember that uh, ten years ago they used to go only to Ibiza, Ibiza, Ibiza. Now you have this 18 year old guy. You tell him Ibiza. I tell you, fuck Ibiza. I'm going to Berlin. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> even to Lebanon, by the way. Nick Warren said this outside yeah, yeah. the project. When we interviewed him, he said, when you compare Lebanon to every single place on the planet, Lebanon is We have here. great DJs in Lebanon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have he great DJs. The, he, he, all the DJs, they love to come uh, here Nick, because of the Nick response of the crowd. Uh, because of Karin. I played with him five times already, and now Sandra brought him the, the sixth time. You uh, played with the biggest DJs in the world, like uh, Richie Houghton, Sasha, Carl Cox. All the top Cox, all, all How, how, how does it feel when, 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 when you... <laughs> when you He's coming now, but yeah, uh, yeah, unfortunately, yeah. yeah. But how do you feel when you share the decks with those uh, DJs? Do the, you first, the first do five you have times I was shaking. Really? Yeah, man. And you, do you, you have the small chat backstage or just go uh, there? Some, so, uh, I'm not aggressive, but I'm a bit cold sometimes with a uh, bigger DJ. I don't like to, uh, uh, to, you know, to be high. And I don't know, I don't like to bother. Uh, uh, people tend to think it's aggressivity. It's more I'm a shy person. And I don't like rejection. So, but you're a Capricorn. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I'm friend with a lot of them, and they send me promos, and I'm in contact with them. But I don't show it on Facebook, and I don't like to blah blah blah. But I'm friend with Nick, for example. I'm friend with uh, Chris Fortier, with a lot of DJs in the world. Louis Fernandez, Nihil. Now uh, they are very close to me. And uh, Rui Sierra, thanks to you. Now I'm going to bring him this summer. I'm going to bring him. It means Ruiz. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like Ruiz. Uh, so I, I hope he's watching us now. Uh, Rulla is a so. great guy. Yeah, a great yeah, guy. yeah, great person. By the way, um, um, Rulla is asking you, Rulla Rolly, yeah, why, why don't you let us get back to a set like Reborn? Uh, I'm playing, but uh, you don't want to listen. <laughs> 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 you are stuck in Reborn, baby. Because uh, I didn't change my music, and uh, I have really very dark sets, and uh, I don't know, Reborn is, is, is even a track that I never released. It's unreleased. I lost it. I, I, uh, Nesta is also uh, saying, uh, saying, but I, I, I lost his comment. He was uh, saying uh, great things about you. Nabi, I love Nabi. Like I you, just, like you listen, said. About Nabi, him. Nabi is really uh, Nabi. If I want to say, <laughs> the the people that were ten years younger than me that uh, were successful, 
نبي قصة توتالي يعني ما معقول ال ال you know he did everything yeah yeah he did everything necessary some people talk about this guy they even let me have problem with him sometimes but he's he's like me he's very sweetheart he's honest to himself and to toward his crowd and there's you and there's J K by the way no really guys because you were you were you were with the crowd and now you are you are with us you are sitting you are directing you are leading. You know, uh, I know a lot of people that even uh, we helped, we helped directly, and they were older than you or younger than you, but they began with you, and they didn't exist till now, or uh, they are still at the same uh, level, because they want to waste their time on Instagram and Marum <laughs> Khail and all this shit. So if I want to talk about uh, people that uh, really were very young, I mean, you were, you were, for me, I was 30, you were 20, maybe. Yeah, you we know? were the kids. Uh, yeah, and, and Nabi was a minor man. Nabi, first time I saw him in the crowd of U18, I'm very friend with the family, by the way, decent family, great family. I'm friend with two of his brothers, uh, Ziad and Imal, and they are old school uh, drummers and DJs, huh? And the real DJs on turntables and yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so Nabi did all the evolution. JK followed him as well. They studied outside Lebanon. You know, Jason uh, joined the school as well. He's he's giving courses now. now. Yeah, 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 at Harvard. Let's uh, jump the uh, to the third or fourth maybe question. It's uh, from What Lara Saab. Of female DJs in Lebanon. What do you think worldwide? of female DJs in Lebanon and worldwide? Yeah, Lara spoke do to me by the way on the phone. She was like, yeah, please, yeah. please listen, uh, listen. Ask this question. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 Nabi, Philip also, uh, Willy. <laughs> Philippe. We were talking. <laughs> Philippe Sabah. <laughs> Philippe and Willy, Kasouf and uh, all the guys. Thank Philippe you for joining. Willy, family. They are family. Um, so, uh, what Lara, do you think of Lara, female DJs? Uh, there is no difference between a female and a male. I will tell you this, and I really think. Uh, and if you really know me, you know that I'm uh, a heavy uh, fighter for uh, female rights. Because it is true uh, from school, females are the b are better than us in the in school. But we get the job at the end of school, and they don't get the job. Following the percentage all over the world, if you want to know about it, uh, female DJs. There's no artist successful if he don't have females dancing for him. Because the female, they go to the club. First main thing for them is clubbing. Not like boys, half of them goes to catch a female. You know, I, I noticed this with experience. The more, um, the more the female loves the artist, the more the artist is successful. And uh, yeah, you can do whatever I can do. It's the same. Uh, if people tell you no, it's a, it's a man thing. It's not at all a man thing. It's a human thing. It's music, and we all know music since our day one. We all listen to music, and uh, one of the best uh, artists uh, around the world are females. From DJing to production to singers, I don't want to talk about Madonna, for example. <laughs> or, you know what I mean? They uh, they shined and they led it, and uh, they did the revolution in the market. So to that's your your intake. Uh, and what do you think of their like the, how they feel towards music? Do, if they are DJs, can they play like more? Um, Man, better, I've, maybe, seen, I've seen, I've seen, I've seen females playing house, uh, females playing techno. You have from Miss Kitting to Nina Gravitz to you have uh, a lot of females. Like, uh, They are uh, maybe connected more to art. In general. Uh, it depends on the person, <laughs> man. I, I don't like to be, uh, yeah, uh, sex oriented. Let's not do sex oriented. It depends on the person. I mean, you have. Me, I know how to trick this guy. Kling, you have Miriam Kling. She's an artist today. <laughs> Miriam Klink is an artist. You can just can you say no. For me, she's nothing, but she's an artist for fun. <laughs> maybe, <But laughs> maybe she will support no, no, you it, it, today. <laughs> no, no, I, I don't want her to support me. Okay, let, let's so move you have to, uh, human uh, people, uh, person uh, depends on his character and education. Of course. Or he, c or he wants to do music, <laughs> or he wants to go to social media. It's <laughs> the same in uh, dancing. It's the same in uh, doing a doctor or engineer. <laughs> for me, the capacity is capacity. I, I think the female would. Be more serious toward music and uh, of course. anything else. <laughs> yeah. Cheers, Guns. Uh, we have a. Um, <laughs> I told you guys on all my social media. This is gonna be so much fun because I know <laughs> that first of all, this guy is Capricorn like me. <laughs> Second of all, we have Hassan Karaki sending us messages. Hassan, <laughs> and also his uh, one of the people wife. who supported me as well. And I, I, I told you guys this is gonna be so much fun. This guy is super honest. He doesn't think before he talks. I'm blunt. He's blunt. He says everything. 
as it is. So that's why it's my but honor but again but not aggressive, man. To, 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 <laughs> to, to, to have you uh, in my studio <laughs> for this uh, show. Is mine. And by the way, people, people ask for you because I, 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 I had this um, um, post asking people, who do you want to, uh, who, who do you want me to invite to my show? And they nominated you and Majam. So here you are now with me, and I also, uh, uh, I'm calling out Majam to be with me as well. I love Ahmed. So here, we so. have a question from Michael or Michelle. Uh, how do you charge, <laughs> how much do you charge per gig? <coughs> and do you do get you money out of your production. productions? Oof. Oh, that's a good question. Very good question. Um, uh, usually the most expensive DJ around the Middle East bro, should be paying, you should be paying him around a thousand dollars. Per gig? Uh, per gig, yeah. Uh, it could go less, it could go more. It depends. If Marlboro is booking me, it will go more. <laughs> if uh, a young guy, in general, I don't, I'm not a thief. I'm very famous. I can be a bit aggressive, but I'm very close to people. I listen to them. So, uh, and there's no fixed price, even for an international act. Now, when you send, you send a proposal, but I'll give you a tip, a hunt, if you're asking about the market. It's usually around $800. Now, if you come to me, you tell me you want to book me for 10 dates and you sign and you pay a deposit, I can make it 500. W why not? Shift uh, affair, it's, 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 it's a number. You know how much you are doing to me, I can do to you. But like this, if a client now call me, I'll begin with 1,000 or 800,000. Depends who is the client. Have you played for free? Uh, I played, I played for free. For a cause, maybe. For a cause, Children Cancer Center. Yeah, yeah, I did all this. Yeah, yeah, I did it uh, many times. That's time. part of uh, you and, being uh, an artist. Even, uh, even if there's someone uh, really nice, uh, he wants to launch a brand. If I feel him and he knows how to talk to me, I will do it. But uh, if he tell me, for example, take hundred dollar, no. <laughs> 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 we had this conversation before. <laughs> 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 Sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> <That's yeah. laughs> uh, um, let me read uh, <laughs> another question. Uh, and no, how do you get money? Uh, uh, wait, let me read a comment from our friend Hassan Karaki. He's saying, guys, this is a very special episode, and I'm so happy to see goons on screen. We met at Forestronica in 2009, I think. Hassan, you don't know how much respect I have for you, bro. <laughs> uh, you by the way, Hassan, you, you're the only wedding I went to with another <laughs> wedding, Nabil Jashin and you. Two weddings in my life. I don't go to weddings. <laughs> but uh, Hassan Karake is one of the decent uh, person that I, yes. I will love till, till yes. the end of yes. days. Yes. And yes. yeah, he yes. supported yes. me a lot. But yeah, Decency you know, is I'm very is humble. Is I'm very, I'm very um, uh, next, close to people. Now, I can be aggressive if you are uh, bullshitting me or doing any problem. Man, you have this question, uh, Michelle. Also, Hassan, I couldn't read your uh, your message, uh, but uh, he's just sending love. Yeah, yeah, he's just no sending question. love. Thank you, Hassan. And let's uh, move to. Have, do you get <laughs> money out of your productions? Do you? Um, uh, I had an email now from Proton, but I didn't sign. It's months ago because I don't check my email. By the way, Proton uh, from Jason. Uh, from Jason, yeah. Yes. Proton. Uh, by he's the way, the Perfect is the Proton label. So ah, okay. Uh, yeah, okay, uh, Jason cool. is a is a great. He's very friend close to me, Jason. He even uh, let me use Crate uh, two years ago. You know, Crate. It's yeah, of course, uh, of course. It's of the course. new thing now. And uh, yeah, very close. But now he's pissed off me, him and Bigel, because we have a track. It's signed on any lay on, on a new compilation. I'm not even logging in to, to sign because no time. You know how I live. <laughs> and uh, you get money, man. Yes, you get money. But uh, you need to have a lot of tracks. A lot of tracks, not uh, 10 tracks and 20 track and 100 track. We talk about 607 or 1000 track. And yeah. people can buy tracks. And, and like people will buy tracks. And when you yeah. use them, when they play them on radio. But you have to be now, Big L explained to me this. You have to be registered on Sasam and all this. Yeah. You pay around $600 a year you, yourself for. Uh, yeah, but. Uh, but but you, you get around $7,000 per month. Or but if 5, the track 000. is not really commercial and playing on radios and TV, so why? Yeah, you don't get. You don't la, get. La, yeah, it need to be sold on labels and compilations and uh, etc. But it can get you if it's a huge number. Basically, what can get you the production you produce in order to maintain your uh, price Name for the yeah, performance. Yes, yes. Yeah. But any artist in the world uh, wins his money profitable. Is the, I mean, he makes profit from the performance. Even Madonna. 
Madonna will charge you uh, one million dollar to perform, she will get two dollars per album. Now she's selling a two million album, it will make her four million. But if you compare it to one performance for one million, yeah, but most of it, the, it's uh, nothing. So most of the music yeah, yeah. from the album. The money comes from the performance. performance of this is why focus on DJing first, then focus on production. It's my recommendation. If you begin with production, you're going, you, go, you are going to be spending a lot of money uh, for your studio and um, you're not doing money from your performance. Maybe maybe Madonna can uh, of course take a small share because she's a recording artist on the album. Sure, sure, she takes more share than other people. But from you have to pay the sound engineer, the designer, yeah, yeah, etc. Yeah, yeah. So uh, she, she will be left with a short amount. Uh, a guy like me from the album, he won't get uh, one dollar. <laughs> <laughs> Goons, what's your uh, what's your plan for the summer? What mm. what is, what's what's going on with you this summer? Um, I, um, when I left Bo three years ago. And I left uh, Bar National and Capitol and everything. I decided, and Mix FM, I decided to be as a freelancer. Uh, today I'm a freelancer. I have my own product, which are Veroset and Merry Go Round. Merry Go Round now is pending. Uh, I, uh, I, you know Merry Go Round. I had Cataneo, I had uh, Ellen Alien, I had Big Nights. But when I saw that the market uh, is around a thousand, mm. uh, I had now Veroset. Veroset is a very underground. Uh, product and uh, I wish to thanks by the way uh, Rafael Mereb and Amr Shama they are my backbone guys you are my brothers uh, I love this uh, two people and stamina of course but uh, Rafael and Amr mainly uh, they did a lot to me when I left BO they helped me establish myself on social media because I was very weak on social media I didn't believe in and it and of course managing your uh, bookings and all that uh, uh, everything now they they, la they didn't left me they are still here for me but they helped me and uh, they are my partners today in Veloset and, and other products um, uh, I have Veloset and uh, because of a girl named Sandra I left my room again to be part of project, I'm not the owner at project, I'm the consultant of the owner, like I was everywhere else. I was never an owner in Mix FM or BO18, but you'll find me sitting just at the right of the founder or the main owner. Because of my background, of course, uh, hotel management, hospitality administration, and musical background, and uh, of my name. So now my plan is to become bigger, because project is two floor. Now we are filling the first floor. My objective is help me to have a new really club because you know the music there. Uh, it's not a joke. I'm, I'm not a joker in music. So um, and you have the best names on the lineup as well. I have the best names in the Middle East, and I'm, I'm trying to bring the best from outside, uh, knowing that I cannot go uh, uh, very high because uh, there's a capacity management as well. I, I, I'm limited in capacity. It's not a venue. Um, and now we are open air. From uh, ten or from uh, eleven to four thirty, four four thirty, and four four thirty, we are going back inside indoor. Uh, in October, it will be again indoor only. And uh, I don't have any other plan except developing with uh, Sandra and Rabia, Rabia Khabaz and Sandra Melhim uh, project. Um, that's it. And having Velo said, and I'm a freelancer. I play every week. Sometimes I play every day in the summertime, so uh, I don't want to be involved in the business uh, side anymore, except with Sandra. Uh, I'm planning to open some other side businesses, uh, not planning, it's already planned, I'm beginning to executing now, it's going to be in 2018. It's going to be uh, outlets where you have music, you have art, but there's also food. And it will close at one or two o'clock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I that's another aspect of the business. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's another aspect, but it's linked. It's there is entertainment, there is music. Uh, in my first uh, uh, project, uh, you are uh, you are uh, one of the main people. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I leave it as a surprise. <laughs> but for the moment, nothing. I'm releasing my third album in like uh, one month, one month and a half. A lot of tracks are coming. Uh, I didn't produce last six months. I was not good. So I was watching documentaries, uh, buying music and performing. Because I have around uh, 200, 300 track ready to sell. And uh, you know me, I'm not this, uh, yeah, I, I, this I, guy I, that want to sell. And of wanna, course. I don't call label. I don't go anyone. I don't go ask to play. I stay home with my cats. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> my, my condolences to, to Frisky. Uh, Frisky, your yeah. cat. You love this frisky. cat. Yes.
He's so my many. favorite uh, f favorite friend I have ever, really, man. I mean, people was making some uh, people was making fun of me, and but uh, you have a, like you have that's a, an you artist, you know. You have a cat and you, a cat. Connected, man. This yeah. cat was very special, very very special. I salute him. <laughs> <laughs> Free school. By the way, um, he teach me a lot. When when you were producing, do you use uh, Ableton or which which? Oof, excellent question. When I graduated in 2004 from SAE. Uh, 2005, April 2005. Um, Ableton was a was a like reason was a plugin. Uh, I used to lecture on Cubase. I can lecture on Cubase Pro Tools or Logic. My speciality was Cubase because Cubase during that era was um, uh, mainly um, instrument or musician oriented more than Logic and Pro Tools. Pro Tools was more to video and Logic more to audio. This is why I was very good in Cubase. Uh, Big L again is the person that uh, guided me to wear Ableton. Uh, we had some problem with the sound quality of Ableton in the beginning. Today, I don't do anything else than Ableton. <laughs> Honestly. I'm very proud to hear yeah, this. It's the fastest, uh, the most user-friendly. Uh, Quality-wise, It's there is no difference. And don't make people bullshit you with uh, a lot of pictures, a lot of synths. It's bullshit. You need one computer, one sound card, good speakers, and Ableton, you can make wonders with it. I made uh, I made the theater. I made movies. Uh, I did the Arabic series. This is, you also do uh, yeah, only, yeah. O only produce electronic dance no, music. No, no, only electronic music. No, uh, I would like to thank Matisse uh, Event, uh, Lin Sawaya, and Yasmin Haik, and also Mr. Nazih Tabara, because of the trust. Every sat every uh, summer you will find me at uh, Fara doing uh, classical music for uh, uh, the fireworks, live classical music. Uh, this year I'm already paid, uh, I'm, it's going to be 14th of August if someone wants to see me under a different, uh, different uh, view of music. Um, uh, I did Mercedes, the new store you see at Daura. I did the live music for the revealing new cars of Mercedes and the library for three days. Uh, for three days uh, banquet, uh, Bar National, we say it, Capitol. Uh, I worked on Gillette, uh, on Head and Shoulders as ads. Uh, I did some court metrage uh, movies. Uh, uh, no, man, I, I do not recommend the guy to be only a DJ and techno DJ or house DJ or even commercial or EDM DJ. Uh, it's a whole business and uh, there's much more to learn than DJing. I mean, DJing, it's a skill. Uh, DJing, you have to be good. Uh, live wise you know it's a performance it's like driving a car but if you want to talk about the theory i can write the theory right down with the <laughs> harmony and psychology on uh, four or five pages of a4 by the way i uh, production is different gunther uh, told me before we went online that um, we are also um, up for it together to go live again on a special edition of workshop, Google Live workshop, to yeah. do kind of workshop, have some um, uh, sharing sc screens on Ableton, how I he, show he them, I, I want to show them how easy it is today to write music to, to write music or to, to, to make even a good mix because uh, people tend to go to um, uh, the easiest way uh, uh, using technology. I want to show them that beat matching is nothing man. You there's just much more to yeah, it. Yeah, there's much more to it. And if you do it properly, you will learn better. You, you know, you have a strong basic uh, base, strong base, you know. And <laughs> even in production, it's not like before, man. Uh, during my time, you needed much more money and much more uh, things to do. Man. Of course. Today is very easy, very easy. By the way, you mentioned you produced uh, ads for Gillette. Ha, Gillette had an But our, our good friend will be annoyed now. BBC, why? Who? Who? Rikik, Rikik. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> send me your ad and send me I'll do it. <laughs> Gada, our good friend Eli. By the by, by the way, Eli is uh, is one of I love the Eli. essential. I love Eli. People in nightlife. Yeah, yeah. If you don't see Eli, not, something is wrong. He's not. He's not a <laughs> DJ. He's not a producer. He's not a club owner. He's someone who you must see at every single gig. So that yeah. he just if I don't see him, there's something wrong. <laughs> charges you with yeah. all the energy and the positivity he has, and salute uh, to him. Salute to every single person who's with us now. Every single DJ in Lebanon who is contributing and making the scene uh, go forward. We have reached the end of our uh, session now. It's 11:11, Goons. Philippe Sabah, my wedding also must be. Yes, Philippe Sabah. Yes, wedding. 
Mahmoud so, Ali, uh, all the people sending you hearts. And Mahmoud, by the way, I, I have to say that this show got the most uh, online um, people with Thank us. You. Thank you. That's and my sense. Because uh, without you, I'm nothing. Honestly, guys. <laughs> that's Please my believe me, I think like this. <laughs> it's my 10th episode, and that's the most um, number of people we got online with us. Goons, I have to say uh, many things among them. Thank you, first of all, of, uh, for coming and Thank joining, uh, for being the guest for the 10th episode. 10 is a good number, or 10, 10 is a special it's number for number. Capricorns as well. Yeah. Uh, also, I have to thank every single person who joined, who asked, and of course, we will be back together for another uh, Gigos Live. Well, music only. This music time. only, yeah. performance, showing you tricks, tips and tricks on machines, on Ableton, on everything. And one last question, what do you think of Pervert? Pervert. <laughs> Man, everyone knows what I think about Pervert. It's written out there, I scream it loud every week, I share your post. People may think you pay me, it's uh, stupid. <laughs> uh, people think, I don't know. Uh, this is my first time in Beirut since uh, eight months. I didn't even want to see my parents for Easter or uh, I'm only always alone. Uh, the, only, the only thing that makes me go to Beirut is you, man. Uh, thanks a lot for being here for us. Because if we didn't have Perf and it's here now on live, I didn't know who to ask on any machine or anything or in Lebanon. There's no one else <laughs> in Lebanon to ask except you, bro, really. And the push you gave to the market, uh, the new DJs, uh, you're helping, everything. Man, I, I cannot but thank you to be here, man. And it will, it will always be like this. Thank, thank you, you so man. much, thank Goons. You, and uh, we will be back with you guys for another uh, Gigos Live uh, show. Goons promised he will be back with you for a technical session next time. It's going to be maybe at the end, end of the summer. And, uh, yeah, we'll do it. And we'll again, do it. We'll do it. Maybe in September because um, I'm traveling a lot. Uh, uh, 17 August, I'll be in Shame. 2nd of, uh, of uh, September, I'll be in uh, Dahab with Tam. Then uh, 12 or 16 September, I'm almost plus minus in Dubai. So maybe we'll do it at the end of September. End of, the, uh, end of September. End of September yeah, anytime. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. is your uh, place, Goons. Merci, man. And you. I'm your brother forever. Thank you, man. Thank you. Man. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, you guys, you are always in my heart, his heart, everyone's heart. Thank Peace. you for joining. And uh, until then, you be good, be safe. Salute. Salute, man.